Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about simplifying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, negative 2 times the square root of 48a to the third times b to the fourth times c squared, okay? So let's go break this down. Well, 48, all right, and let's see what, how I can break down 48. 48 is just 2 and 24, and 24 is 2 and 12 and 12 is 2 and 6, and 6 is 2 and 3. a to the third is just a times a times a, and b to the fourth is just b times b times b times b, and c squared is c times c, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is circle all of my pairs. I have a pair of twos right here, and another pair of twos. I have a pair of a's, I have a pair of b's, a second pair of b's, and a pair of c's, okay? So what I'm going to do is rewrite this negative 2 on the outside and multiply them by all of my pairs represented by a single uh, element outside of the square root. So we have one pair of 2 right there, another pair of 2's right there, so we have these two, times a pair of A's, don't forget that on the inside there, times another pair of B's, another pair of B's, times a pair of C's. What's left inside the square root is just all my singles, which is a 3 and an A. It's kind of getting all tricky in there, hit it. 3 times a, okay, it's an a, I'm making it worse, okay. So now let's simplify, 2 times 2 times 2, or negative 2 times 2 times 2 is a negative 8. Don't forget a there, b times b is b squared, c, so we have our a, b, c is there, negative 8, a, b squared times c, times the square root of what's left inside the square root, which is 3, a. And that is our final answer, negative 8, a, b squared, c, times the square root of 3a. So let's recap. We're given negative 2 times the square root of 48, a to the third, b to the fourth, times c squared. That breaks down to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, times a times a times a, times b times b times b times b times c times c. Okay? From there, we circle our pairs. We have two pairs of 2s, one pair of a's, two pairs of b's, and one pair of c's. Okay? Every pair is re represented by a single element outside the square root. So we brought down the negative 2, and then we have Multiply that by 2 times 2 times a times b times b times c. And all the singles that were left over are sitting inside the square root, which is just a 3 and the a. We simplified that, and it's our final answer here, which is simplification from the beginning, which is negative 8a b squared c times the square root of 